and today I'm going to be presenting the estmean sdr package. This is an R package that can be used to estimate the mean and standard deviation of the outcome from studies that report the median in meta-analysis. First, I want to begin with some context in where this package can be used. We consider the setting of an aggregate data meta-analysis of a continuous outcome. In this setting, it's fairly common that some of the primary studies report the sample mean of the outcome, but other primary studies may report the sample median. This is a challenge because in standard meta-analytic methods, they require that each study contribute an estimate of the same outcome measure. Uh, there's been a number of solutions that have been proposed in the statistical literature, and today I'm going to be focusing just on one of these solutions, which uh, essentially goes as follows. You first impute the sample means and their estimates of their standard errors from all these studies that report medians. Once doing so, you then apply standard meta-analytic methods based on these sample means or these imputed sample means from all the primary studies. There's been a, a number of methods that have been developed in the literature over the last, say, 20 years, and this is uh, particularly growing over the last five years um, on these mean and standard deviation estimators. And uh, almost all of these approaches consider that uh, a primary study will report one of the three following sets of summary statistics. So these sets of summary statistics are based on the median and either the, the minimum and maximum values in the sample, or the first and third quartiles in the sample, or both, as well as the sample size. So these are denoted by scenarios one, two, and three. Apart from considerations on estimating the mean and the standard deviation, another consideration is how do you then go to get an estimate of uh, the standard error of these imputed means. The most common approach used in the literature is an approach which we refer to as the naive approach, which uses the imputed standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. Um, in some quite recent work, uh, I've explored along with some colleagues um, a, some simple approaches based on parametric bootstrap to estimate um, the standard error of these imputed means. And so the S mean SD package incorporates both of these types of standard error estimators uh, as well as a few different mean and standard deviation estimators uh, developed in the literature. In particular, the package considers these two methods. The first method we refer to as quantile matching estimation or QE for short and this approach can be described as follows. We fit several different candidate parametric distributions for the outcome. So for instance, we consider the normal distribution or the log normal distribution or other sorts of skewed distributions because these skewed distributions may be reasonable when studies report the median. For each of these distributions, we can estimate the parameters of these distributions by minimizing the distance between the sample quantiles and the quantiles in the distribution. We then select the distribution with the best fit then we use the mean and standard deviation of that distribution as our sample mean and standard deviation estimates. A couple other approaches are based on performing a type of Box-Cox transformation. Um, so essentially they consider that the sample, the outcome, is normally distributed after you apply a suitable Box-Cox transformation. The idea is that this can help uh, allow for skewed distributions. So the BC method is one that um, I've explored with some colleagues, which essentially estimates this lambda, which is a parameter that governs the Box-Cox transformation by informing, enforcing a type of symmetry in the transformed quantiles. There was another approach based on the same idea, uh, which was referred to the, as the MLN method. And this uh, estimates lambda by a maximum likelihood approach. This was developed very shortly after uh, the BC method. So to apply these types of methods in the estimine SD package, um, we can use the main functions, which are given here. Uh, the naming is the, the qe.mean.sd function applies the qe method. And then similarly, 
we can apply the BC and MLN methods with the BC mean standard mean SD function and the MLN mean SD function. To compute estimates uh, of the standard error based on bootstrap, we can then use the get under underscore uh, standard deviation or SE. So we'll we'll see how these look in an example in just a couple slides. Uh, a very a uh, straightforward example I'm going to consider is based on a real meta-analysis that was performed a few years ago. And this meta-analysis aimed to compare the age between survivors and non-survivors of COVID-19. And the primary studies in this meta-analysis uh, often reported the median, as well as the first and third quartiles, as well as some other studies that reported the mean and standard deviation of age in the survivors and non-survivor groups. The example data I'm going to consider is from the non-survivor group in one of the primary studies. And the summary data that's reported uh, is given here in the slides where we have a median of 71 years and first and third quartiles of 64 years and 80 years respectively, as well as a sample size of 84. The code for applying the QE method is, is given here where we um, can apply the QE mean SD function, um, and we and essentially can input the Q1, median, and Q3 values uh, as follows, as well as the sample size. The object that's returned has cont essentially contains the fitted distribution, and we can print the mean and standard deviation estimates obtained from this type of approach. So here we estimate a mean of around 72.8 four years and a standard deviation of approximately 12. From this fitted object, we can compute uh, an estimate of its the standard error of the mean using the get uh, SE function. And um, it obtains an estimate of around a standard error of around 1.5. Then from these values, you can then perform a uh, whatever type of meta-analytic procedure, uh, typically based on inverse variance weighting uh, from these values. Um, a very similar example we consider is instead of using the QE method, we can use the MLN method. Uh, the code is essentially identical, replacing QE with MLN throughout. So we can um, fit the, this first line of code here, um, applies the MLN method to get estimates of a mean now of 72 years and a standard deviation of around 11.6. And then we can apply the parametric bootstrap standard error estimator in a similar way to get a standard error now of around 1.4. So in conclusion, uh, the S mean SD package, it implements a few different methods to estimate uh, the mean of an outcome and an estimate of its standard error from the studies that report the median as well as other sorts of quantiles. This can be applied to uh, each primary study in your meta-analysis individually. Um, and uh, the meta-median package, which I also have a presentation for in this conference, um, can, ap can apply the, this sort of method to all the different primary studies in your meta-analysis to in one fell swoop, essentially, and also implements a number of other type of approaches that have been considered in the literature. So that may be worth uh, checking out if you're interested. And lastly, to access the package, the released version is available on CRAN, and the development version is available on GitHub. Uh, thank you.